good morning. It is Sunday, February 13th. It's 31 degrees outside, so I've got the seat warmers on, heat blasting. Let's go to Portland. Wow, it is so sunny in Portland. It's a beautiful day and I just pulled in. I'm not sure where I am exactly, but um, I'm stopping to get a pastry before I head on to my first year in stores. First, I'm heading to Ritual Dyes in Portland because I'm here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and it's only open today. So I'm swinging by there for a few minutes and then I'm gonna head on to Forest Grove to go to another yarn shop there. But first, let's get a snack. I just left Case Study Coffee where I got an iced oat milk hazelnut latte. I also stopped at Bake Shop which was a recommendation from my sister. Bake Shop has seasonal hand pies. Oh, look at this raspberry heart hand pie. I'm so excited to try this. Oh my gosh, it's so flaky. It's exploding. Oh my God. Got raspberry in my hair. Waking up at 5.30 this morning to get on the road. It's well worth the trip. I'm now headed to get out of the sun because it's like 90 degrees and roasting in here. I'm headed to my first yarn shop. media for weeks now. I know only weeks because I've just recently become obsessed with knitting but and now we're headed to Forest Grove. I had such a wonderful experience at the Naughty Lamb. I cannot wait to practice knitting with these amazing yards that I got. I got so many things to try for so many projects and I am on cloud nine right now. They are so good. I cannot wait to take you through the goodies I got. Look at all these colors. I need to tell you guys that I got my nails done today in this cool coffee colored checkerboard pattern by um, Christina from Prolific Epiphany. I am wearing my sweater I made today because it's an extremely dreary day and let me get better lighting. My bathroom is so much better. Wow. Okay. And I'm going to a bunch of yarn shops today so I kind of hope somebody notices it and asks me if I made it. I had an itinerary today, it went out the window. So I'm gonna, I think, go downtown, go to a yarn shop called Unraveled, maybe get a crepe. I stopped at Urban Crepery for breakfast. I got the strawberries and matcha, cheesy, sweet, sweet cheese <laughs> crepe. I hope I don't need a knife for this. It said matcha cream, so I'm expecting it to be green somewhere. But it's not good. Sometimes you are having way too much fun at a yarn shop to remember to film. That's what happened to me at Unraveled. I just went, it was in downtown Portland. Got a lot of things oh they do have a little logo look at that cute logo can you see it's a dog with yarn 
They're the only local store that carries Knitting for Olive and I did get some. <laughs> It was so nice to feel it in person. Was amazed by the softness of the cotton merino blend. I definitely am gonna need to do that in a project someday. And they also just had so many cute um, branded notions and things that were really affordable, so I stocked up. And now I'm at my next location, which is, if you can see, close knit. Goodness, do you see what I'm looking at? <sighs> okay, I might be back in bed, but I'm about to enjoy the most amazing Valentine's Day pad thai. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry, so I'm so excited to eat this. They gave me free Thai tea for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna watch New Girl. <sighs> relax, chill, get into my zen zone, and then probably knit. Here we are again. It's about 11 o'clock p.m. on Valentine's Day. Look at the bags under my eyes. I'm just about to get, go get ready for bed. I have been knitting and crocheting. I finished two things. Okay, not quite finished, but almost finished. I did finish my pink knit hat. I'm excited to block it. I'm hoping it helps a little bit. I don't know how to undo knit one below. I've watched the videos. I can't figure it out. I definitely struggled with this mohair situation, like in terms of even stitches. Some that are larger than others, gappier than others. Overall, I think it turned out really cute. And then the other thing I've been working on while I've been sitting here is this baby blanket for my cousin. It's a crochet project that's waffle stitch. I'm working on this border for too many days now. I'm gonna do one more row and then call it good. It's at three right now. But it's so cozy. I just feel great wrapping up those projects. Tomorrow I'm heading home, I might hit up cafe for breakfast maybe one or two more knitting stores the ones that open on tuesday i think that's all good night it is about 8 45 on february 15th the day after valentine's day and i am heading home today i'm so excited to get home has been my first trip alone um after covid during covid it was a lot not gonna lie I'm just packing up all my stuff now, getting my clothes folded to put away, all my toiletries, just getting everything rounded up. And then we're going to get some coffee, stop by one more knitting shop, and hit the road north. Hey! home about two hours ago and promptly fell asleep on the couch i don't know why i was so exhausted because both nights i slept really well but Ooh. anyway i'm home i had a really interesting time being out and about but i'm glad i did it i am so excited to share everything that i bought which will be its own video these were my first purchases that were just stash building. I had projects in mind for almost all of them. It will be really fun to go over them and share them. Thanks for coming along my trip with me and for watching this video. If you are new to the True Lane experience, thanks for joining me. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more yarn travel vlogging content. What else am I? Oh yeah, like, like this video. Oh, okay, I know, I know, I know like this video or give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are alerted when i post a new video that would be great that is all thanks 
拜。